Good morning and welcome to Kolkata. It's the third biggest city in India and is home to about 16 million people. I struggled to sleep last night because as you might be able to tell my eyes have been infected and it was really painful to close them. Today they feel a little bit better so I'm going to be wearing sunglasses a lot during the making of this video. I arrived late last night and on my way from the airport to my hostel I made friends with an Indian dude and he invited me to come to lunch with his family so that's where I'm headed now. Later I'm going to be heading out into Kolkata and experiencing some of the sights, sounds and smells of this incredible city. Welcome to my day in Kolkata. This is a leather factory and uh, basically this is a uh, this whole local tannery. I mean, what is it? Goat? Sheep? Uh, all the animals, including cow, beef. These two have got an amazing story. They're actually working on a short film project at the moment. So I'm going to hand you over to them and they're going to tell you a little, a little bit more about what they're up to. Myself, Shavi Khan. And I'm Jenny. Uh, we have our own official YouTube channel, NTJS Ventures. We are from India. So I'm in Kolkata for the next three days. Can you guys tell me some things that I should do here? Seriously, you should visit Victoria and at night it is very beautiful. Actually... Our the, bridge. Yeah. Actually, it's beautiful. The Britishers uh, wanted to create second Taj Mahal. So my friends have cooked up an amazing Indian lunch and I'm just going to get them to explain a little bit more about the food. Hi, uh, we are right now having dalia ki khichdi, boiled egg, uh, with samosa. Sam samosa and this is sa butter sandwich. Okay, and uh, apart from this we are making a <laughs> uh, plant bhatta. This is called, uh, in Kolkata this is generally called uh, beguner bhatta. So we finished lunch and Jenny and Sabha are cleaning up. I feel really, really privileged to have met them and have had this experience here in Kolkata. I'm quite lucky to be invited into someone's house and enjoy a meal with them. The food was really good. I do have to be careful here in India what I eat because otherwise I can get sick. So fingers crossed all should be well. So I just thought I'd go to the pharmacy to see if I can get something for my red eyes. Okay. 150, total 150. So thanks to the Titanic pharmacy, I've got some eye drops. Hopefully it's going to help my, my red eyes to get a little bit better because it's really painful. In India you don't really need a prescription to go and get most things from the pharmacy. Only if you want like hard painkillers and that sort of thing. Please, four banana. So bananas are something you can buy off the street in India and eat without having to worry about getting sick because you peel the dirty skin off and you never have to touch the inside. And if you do get an upset stomach in India, it's one of the foods recommended to help you recover from it also. So before coming to Kolkata, I purposely booked the cheapest hostel. It cost me four US dollars per night and it's pretty rough. One other person staying here at the moment from Australia I think. Bathroom is pretty rough. So it's day two of being in Calcutta. I'm still not feeling particularly well. My eyes are still really red and puffy, so I'm not really feeling like going outside and doing very much. I am moving hostels however because the cheapest hostel in Calcutta wasn't a lot of fun, it was pretty dirty. Right now I think I need somewhere a little bit cleaner. 
So I've doubled my budget on hostels. I'm now paying um, 20 US dollars for two nights and the hostel looks a lot better in the photos. I'll probably spend the rest of the day inside and then hopefully this evening I can head out and explore a bit more of Kolkata. The good news however is that that food I ate yesterday with my friends didn't make me sick which is great. So I've checked into my hostel, this one's a lot better than the last. The entrance is down this dark alleyway but it's not that bad once you get inside. The dark alleyway is the back end of all of the restaurants on the shiny front end, it's quite funny. So I didn't end up doing anything else yesterday because my eyes were so sore. I ended up lying in bed for the rest of the day with a t-shirt folded up over my eyes to keep them in the dark. They were pretty painful and today I'm happy to say that they're better. They're still quite red as you can see but they're not painful anymore. So I'm heading out into Calcutta. I'm going to go check out some markets and go into E-Mall which is meant to be a massive electronics mall. So for lunch, one chicken and vegetable roll for 60 rupee, which is one dollar, and it's delicious. Really good. So I'm just approaching New Market and as you can see there is thousands and thousands of other people also going to New Market today. It's pretty much just full of things like clothes and toys and stuff. It's more of a market for clothing and products, it's not so much food. So I'm walking around this market but the whole time I'm followed by people trying to get me to go to their shop. It's really hard to enjoy this market. Back outside I'm going to say I didn't enjoy inside the market very much. Too many people harassing me the whole time. It's no fun. down the street is quite funny because each section of the street has got a different product that they sell. Just before it was the rubber section so every shop had condoms in it. Now we're in the electronic section. Well so this is completely different. We just stepped inside E-Mall and it's shiny. There's no walkers or anything. Um, it's all just like brand new computer shops and mobile phones, it's amazing. So different, not what I expected. Now I'm in yet another market. This one's got like mattresses and bedding and bath rugs and that sort of thing everywhere. And it's huge. Again, there's so many markets in Kolkata, it's crazy. I can't believe it. I just bought this pair of nail clippers for 20 rupee, which is 30 cents. So what are my final thoughts on India? Well, this place is crazy. It's definitely uh, as busy as I imagined and it lived up to all my expectations. It's a fascinating country, but it's definitely really hard to travel because there's so many people and there's the problem of the water. It just seems that the water is quite dirty. Like I got sick eyes and earlier in the trip, both Sarah and I 
got sick from eating ice on the street. You can check out that video if you like. It makes traveling a lot less enjoyable when you're sick, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame because India does have a lot to offer. It's so culturally different and diverse. It's amazing. Will I come back to India? Well, only time will tell. I wish India the very best as it moves into the 21st century. And probably things are going to change a lot here in the next 10, 20, 30 years. So I managed to find a very quiet corner to end this video. Unfortunately I haven't seen quite as much of Kolkata as I would have liked because I haven't been feeling well. As it is it's been very enjoyable what I have seen and it's pretty crazy. It's a great way to close my Indian adventure. So if you did like this video and all the others from India, please like, share, comment and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think. My next plan is to go home to Gorge River for two weeks and then I'm headed back to Antarctica. So until next time, thanks for watching.